guys, I hope you like my new bookshelf setup. That's my new bookshelf. Lies, I'm at Bonnie's house. If you don't know Bonnie, she's another booktuber. We've been friends for a year and a half. We've literally FaceTimed each other like five hours for like every day for the past year. I said, I'm gonna come over and invade your house. And that's where I am. And that's where we're starting this new vlog. I want to tell you about Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating. So this book is an arc from Edelweiss that I got. It follows a girl named Hazel. She's very playful and loud and eccentric. That's the word. She's ex extroverted. <laughs> yeah. She meets this guy named Josh. And so she becomes best friends with him and it's like a friends to lovers thing and it's all about the self-consciousness of like will I find love if I'm too weird this book was good because the main character was so sorry was so cute so cute so cute it reminded me of me which is a very narcissistic way to review a book <laughs> being like I gave this book five stars because it was like me but really I liked the main character she was really funny and weird without being cheesy or panic panic mixy dream girl <laughs> tag yourself I'm panicked. I'm panicked. <laughs> that romance was super sweet and it's done very well. I love Christina Lauren more and more just because it's like good stuff happening. So I gave that book five stars I wanted to talk about because it, it was so good. I also read The Story of My Life by Helen Keller, which was like behind Aqua Corn Cove by someone. I'll put the title. And that was really, really cute. And I gave that like four and a half stars. And then I read the Le Miserable manga which I gave also four stars because I'm a slut for Jean Valjean. Now, what you were actually here for. I went to NASA last weekend, <laughs> but I got her some moon cheese. Actually, I got me some moon cheese, but I brought it because we're in Wisconsin. Lower your expectations. <laughs> Smells not like cheese. Yummy, yummy. Hmm. It's like disturbing, but then you're like, oh, but it's cheese it kind of tastes like a cheese it not to me i don't know it tastes like cheese but like the wrong texture it's just crunchy cheese can i have that poster what poster no okay you can have it if i can have your art of six of crows <laughs> yeah you can keep the poster <laughs> we're gonna go eat cheese curds which <laughs> i'm prepared for yeehaw <laughs> I just took a bunch of photos on this because I literally could not figure out how to record and I realized there's a button for a video. At least I think this is a video. I don't know. Whitney, you're currently shitting up my bathroom and I'm so proud of you. And I just wanted you to see this when you come back to edit this footage at some point. Love you. Keep it real. It's been fun. How do I turn this off? Oh my gosh, can she hear me talking? Oh, you said the Indian food is clapping back. Hell yeah. How do I stop this? This angle's gonna be rough, but right now I'm watching April's reading vlog. April is like my number one inspo for doing reading vlogs. Like every time I watch one of hers, I'm like, why am I not April? I just think she's so cool and fun and the way she does clips is so entertaining and easy. So I'm watching hers and she like shows a bit of her life with every vlog and like does stuff. But watching April, I'm like, wait, but I wanna do that. Do y'all want to see more of my life and like things I do, places I go? I went to CVS tonight. I was bad. CVS haul. So I got a bag of Hershey's Kisses. I got chocolate almonds that are nowhere to be seen. I got wasabi peas. They're basically just little crunchy friends who leave you burning, but it's fun. And then I got a concealer for my under eyes because a girl ain't been sleeping. Does my hair just look like a nest? Yes. Should I do a book haul real quick? Let the record show I found the almonds. Also some tampons. Great content. If you haven't gotten the memo. Sir? Hopefully today will begin a new era of me actually vlogging every day rather than like saving it for a whole week and then doing a huge clip of everything I've done since we last talked. For the final time, here's a clip of me telling you about all the things I've gotten since we last talked. The other day I went to Barnes and Noble after work. I was currently reading The Kiss Quotient by Helen Wong on Kindle so I decided to pick up a physical copy because I was enjoying it a lot. I'm currently 126 pages into this and this is a book about an autistic woman who doesn't have a lot of experience with sex and relationships so she hires a male escort to teach her how to do those things and it is very interesting and realistic so far. I got a belated birthday present from Mahana so I'm currently reading that as well and dropping it. Far From You by Tess Sharp. Sophie is a recovering drug addict and her best friend dies in this 
scandal that they think is related to drugs, but it's not what they all think it is. But it's like a thriller mystery, like what happened to her best friend. This next book I have is a book I was sent from the publisher. It's called Next Year in Havana by Chanel Clayton. This book follows the dual timelines of a woman from Cuba and her granddaughter. The grandmother was 19 in 1958 and was falling in love with one of the revolutionaries in Cuba at the time. And then in 2017, her granddaughter goes to Cuba to discover her family history and get more in touch with her heritage. But I've heard nothing but good things about this, so we'll try it. Am I being blocked? I'm gonna block the sunset. Look at her, she's so wholesome. <laughs> Life is good, I have friends. Look at that sky. What's more beautiful, my Me. friends or the sky? The sky. The sky! Oh, What's see. wrong with being confident? I can vlog your dog. Oh, this is Sensor. content. This is content. This is me, my best friend. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna cute. die. She's so cute. Just me and uh, Bella hanging out. <laughs> I'm taking a poll for Whitney's followers. Which is your favorite Twilight movie? Eclipse or Breaking Dawn Part One. I will, in this New episode, Moon, obviously. Thank you. Anyone Sam who says. New Moon is the best movie. Is Team Jacob? And they didn't read the book. Um, I read the book. I only Team Jacob. That. In the office. <laughs> I'm 100% not kidding. If you or loved one live by Apple Hill and you can go to Boa Vista Orchard and get us wasabi peas, when you walk in, it's the second table to the right of the donut stand. They're there. Get them for it's us. They're not the regular please. peas, the wasabi peas. These CVS peas aren't the move. CVS, I please from Target. I've been bamboozled. They didn't have them at Target. Send us some peas. Please, please. I'll, I'll reimburse you. A hundred percent not kidding. I will pay you. $20. Thank you. Twenty dollars. <laughs> Sheesh. Sheesh. I have tea and I don't even care that I'm gonna be sweating this whole clip. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto US. <laughs> Y'all need to know where I'd be living and which highways I'd be using. <laughs> Here's my tea. Me driving is a whole experience. If you are behind me and you want to be in my lane in front of me, I will drive off a cliff for you. We are dead strangers and I would die for you. Being in people's way is something that just like gets me frantic. If I'm in a lane and you need to be in my lane, by all means, hop in my lane. This is a road for everyone. We both pay taxes to use this road. Like, let's freaking do it. But if you don't have your turn signal on, you don't deserve my lane. <laughs> but if you're not signaling to get over and you're gonna get in front of me and you're two feet away from me getting over with no signal, I hope you step in a puddle with some socks on. Like, that is not the move. That is not groovy. Okay, I'm turning off the camera. <laughs> Good morning, today is July 25th. I'm about to walk into work. I was listening to my audiobook in the car this morning as I drove. I have like a 40 minute commute, so I always listen to my audiobook. And as I was driving, I finished my audiobook. I was listening to Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. This book, I have to take the bookmark out. <laughs> that didn't work. This is a memoir about a woman who wants to go on this life altering journey. So she takes a year out of her life to go to Bali, India, and Italy. She spends four months in each location and just wants to get in touch with herself and heal from a recent divorce. For a book that's so widely popular, I was kind of shocked it wasn't better. I mean, I really enjoyed listening to it. I think Elizabeth was funny, had really good writing style, but it was very much focused on her spiritual journey rather than her actual physical journey. She's super agnostic and I'm just atheist through and through so it was really difficult for her to be like there was a divine power within me that I was discovering and I just have never related to that. If you are more spiritual than me, you might have liked it more, but I just wish it would have focused more on what she actually did there. But yeah, it was really good though. I think I'm gonna give it like four stars. I started a new audiobook called Me Talk Pretty One Day by David Sedaris, which is a book of short essays. Finished the first one already. It was really good. I laughed out loud, which is rare for me. I'm gonna go into work now and type some stuff. <laughs> I look like Lord Farquaad. Oh 
my god. So, I did not vlog after work today because I ended up going to Caitlin's house and we just watched two more Twilight movies. I got this package today. If I'm putting in guesses, I think it's a book. Oh cool, okay, I ordered this book like a month ago, so surprises are always fun. It's A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Caballero. <laughs> Rocky really loves this series. I actually don't know her channel name. Problematic me, I'll put a link her down below. I know nothing about it other than she and Sarah from Sarah Without Nate really love this series, and it's like a Sherlock retelling. It's one of those where I heard people like it and I trust the people who say it's good, so I'm just gonna go for it, even if it's not up my alley. The second thing I got is another Depop order. Wow, Depop really out here trying to ruin lives. There's this super sweet user named Maya who sells lots of clothes and stuff, but she also makes embroidery. I've ordered two from her before. One of them I have on my feminist shelf and then one I have hanging in my office and I just think they're really cute and she offered more for sale and she does bundle deals and 10% off returning customers. So I said, I'll take a couple. So this time I got this little one that has US of A on it. And then I just got this constellation one that says I need space. NASA made me do it, you know? Both of these together were like $15. I could never do this myself. So I'm very grateful to have them. Go check out Maya, she's awesome. Now I gotta go shower because I am not looking cute right now. Okay, good night. I'm taking a massive L today. I got up this morning, got ready, got in the car to drive my parents to the airport before work, and on the way there, I just felt like diarrhea. I really don't feel good today. I've been feeling weird the past couple days, but I just texted my boss that I'm not coming in because I drove all the way to work and then was like, there's no way. I'm taking a sick day today. I don't know what's going on with my stomach, but she hollering. I think that dairy's clapping back a couple days late. So I'm probably gonna spend the entire day in bed reading. Either that or I'll fall back asleep, so I'll let you know by the end of the day. This is a very fitting end to my time here. Look at this wild <laughs> Me. What? It's Sam's going away party. Look at all my friends. <laughs> Clearly you'll be missed. Me and all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! I don't have a reading update for you, but I do have a life update for you. <laughs> Obviously, this is not my house. This weekend, I'm house-sitting for Caitlin, who's been in a couple of previous vlog clips. So, I'm taking care of her dog. Spencer! Hi, baby! Are you in the vlog? You are such a good girl! Huh, see, I am so good. Cutie. Oh, Jesus, holy moly, me oh my. Today has been more eventful than the last chapter of Restore Me. The last clip I had, I was at Caitlin's house dog sitting and my camera died during that clip. I didn't get any footage. I just wanted to vlog and update the things that I am currently reading and the two things that I finished since we last talked. I've been speeding through audiobooks because those are what I listen to when I get ready in the morning, then when I commute to and from work, which altogether is probably about two and a half hours. And I listen to audiobooks on double speed, so that's like four hours of an audiobook per day. So I did end up finishing Me Talk Pretty One Day by David Sedaris. I enjoyed listening to this book a lot. It's narrated by the author and it intersperses actual live readings with him in a recording studio, which I really enjoy. I think Amy Poehler did that in her book. And I just think it's a really engaging way to tell a story. The essays were super fun to listen to. They focused on him learning French when he was in France for a period of his life with his boyfriend. I gave it a solid four stars. I didn't really dislike anything about it. It was just a quick, easy, fun listen. I would definitely pick up stuff by him again because he's humor style is witty and creative without being too edgy or punny or like he's trying too hard. So all the praise he gets is well deserved. I enjoyed listening to it but it wasn't something that clicked with me or was the best thing in the world. It was just a fun read. Then last night I decided to pick up the audiobook for In the Body of the World by Eve Ensler. I've had this book on my shelf since like 2015 and I saw it on my non-fiction shelf and honest to god was like I shouldn't haul that but before I decided that I just wanted to listen to the first chapter of this. And I'm so glad I did because I read this in less than 24 hours listening to it on audiobook and interspersing reading the physical version. It was magnificent. Eve Ensler is the author of The Vagina Monologues. She is a known feminist writer. And this is her memoir about getting ovarian cancer that spread to all of the nether regions including her colon and vagina. More than a memoir, it's kind of a look at a mixture of things. It talks about how her history of abuse translates to how she's treated as a cancer patient and the parallels that are drawn there. It talks about rape survivors all around the world that she works with to help recover and how her story and theirs intermingle. One of my favorite quotes from this is about how corrupt people can be, especially to each other and to the environment. It is extremely 
extremely gory. There is lots of discussion of heinous crimes and violations of body that happen in the places that she goes to work as a volunteer to help women out with their past abuse and rape. As well as if you're queasy about medical stuff, she had colon cancer so it deals with the bowels and the poops. She really does not censor herself talking about that which I think made it that powerful even though it edged on uncomfortable. This was a risky book but it packed the punch I think it intended to so I couldn't help but give it four and a half stars. And just as a little reading update I am making Making my way downtown, walking fast. Making my way through The Kiss Quotient by Helen Wong. 244 pages into this, so I should be finished with it soon. Today has been a day, ladies. How can a person get their headlights smashed and not even realize it? Also, a little sneaky peeky, I finished my journal I was currently working on, so this flip through is going to be coming in just a little bit so keep an eye out for that okay book community i should probably look at the um the camera i just want to let you guys know that i was with witty novels when the title what did you say it was defy me you remember yeah of course i did defy me was released we were in the lobby at starbucks and she lost her shit and I thought she was gonna pass out, but she's recovered. She's drinking her frat. Um, I'm in a very sensitive state right now. She's very sensey. Can I spill some tea? Sorry about that. Oh my God, hold on. Can I flip it around? Yeah, so my whole deal was we were all like, it's gonna be called Restore, or not Restore Me. It's gonna be called Remember Me because like, yeah, be like no spoilers. No I spoilers. haven't finished reading it. But I was like, that's a dumb title. So in my heart, I was like, it better not be Remember Me. This title, like from the gods it's so good april 2019 is going to be a sacred month national holiday so why am i blurry i don't know here? that's what i'm saying i don't know it'd be like that and that ladies and gentlemen is the tea see you later i'm gonna have diarrhea later <laughs> that was so stressful bye <laughs> ollie what are you doing baby boy come say hi wow come here Good boy. Boop. You're just itchy, huh? Um, sorry, I'm not wearing pants, but y'all see this moon? I stan Miss Luna. Look at her. She's thriving in the sky tonight. That's not a reflection of the light inside my house. That is the moon herself. I love her. Real quick, I want to update you that I finished the book that I said I would last clip. The Kiss Quotient by Helen Kwong. Kwong. There's no K in that name. There's a bookmark in it, but I finished it. I ended up giving it four stars. It's so weird vlogging in front of your mom because I'm like, this book had no sex in it at all. I like the autistic rep in this book. I like the pace of the romance, but here's the thing. I usually can fly through romance books and this book took me like two weeks to read which never happens and I don't know if it was the writing or the narrator or the plot that made it slow down or if it was just something weird going on with me and second of all there were a lot of tropes in the end that were used that I'm not a fan of like really heavy jealousy and possession using miscommunication as a plot device so I took one star off because I think it doesn't really live up to the hype but it wasn't like a bad book so give four stars he was eight and then I got a book in the mail the Crow Prince which came out like last year and I'm so behind on getting on this hype train it's a fae book it's enemies to lovers we'll see <laughs> the wicked king comes out and it's like all my friends most anticipated book but yeah I just wanted to update the two things that I have now I'm gonna post this video okay bye I want all that is not mine I want him, but we're not right In the darkness I will meet my creators And they will all agree that I'm a suffocator